Good afternoon, Hammer Campers. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this, which is the DD Super Light Hammock. DD very kindly sent me the Super Light Hammock, the Super Light Mosquito Netting, and the Super Light Tarp, the world's lightest sleep system. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Let's get to it. The whole kit and caboodle comes in this nifty utility belt thing. Action pack, I think they call it. So I'm now the Batman of hammock campers. <laughs> what we got is the little hammock is in this side pocket here. Tiny! And the mosquito netting is in this pocket here, even tinier. And last but not least is the tarp. Look at that, That's, it's very slightly smaller than the usual tarp, but that is a hell of a lot more compact. It's gonna be good. And then you're left with this section here, which you're free to fill with whatever you want. And I have filled it with my summer sleeping bag. So, that's me basically ready to go camping. Hey, I could just strap this on and become a modern day wandering hunter gatherer nomad type. Let's set it all up and see how it looks. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? What did that take, two or three minutes? Admittedly, this is not typical of a DD hammock. This is, uh, usually DD hammocks, you have to pull them more taut and you get a kind of a flatter leg, whereas this is more conventional. So you need to get the 30 degrees for the suspension and then get yourself on a diagonal leg, which is not something I'm used to. So uh, I've probably got it wrong right now and it might take a little bit of tweaking, but that's still a pretty quick setup. Uh, and in case I got stuck, it does come with instructions that show you how to use the whoopee slings and the soft shackle. And they explain about hanging the suspension at a 30 degree angle. Mosquito net. See how this goes. I believe this comes with its own internal ridge line with a pocket. Let's find out. Yes, here it is. So the first job will be setting up the ridge line. much effort it does require a knot at each end which I'm not happy about it's not good enough 
<laughs> I just used a simple uh, overhand knot there. Um, but I'm already thinking actually that, that this ridge line can be used as a fixed ridge line for the hammock, so you always get the, the perfect lay, right? That, that's a thing that people do, right? So I'm already thinking about making that, once you've got it right, making that a permanent attachment. The, the bug net you can just slide off to one side if you don't want it on, or you can slide it all the way off, really, if you don't want it on at all. Uh, and if anybody knows me, they probably know that I'm already thinking about putting this whole thing into a snake skin so that it's even easier to set up. We've got one last component to add though, before I do that, and that's the top. So, let's see how I did with that. Before I put the top on, I just want to mention that obviously this mosquito net doesn't have those arches like the jungle hammock does. It doesn't have any tabs the way the, the travel hammock does. Uh, so it's not going to give you as much room inside the hammock as those luxury models do. I ideally would have liked to see some sort of tab on the top of here so you can tie it off to a tree with some shock cord and just create a bit more space. Although I imagine that the height and the tension at which you place this internal ridge line may give you a little bit more clearance. But some things have to be sacrificed in order for, for weight gain and quality is not one of them. This is a very good net. It's just if you're if you're the claustrophobic type you might you might want to find a way of suspending it higher. If you're not then you can just bash it on without the ridge line really and that will make the whole setup even quicker. See what we got here. I'm hoping that it comes with a ridge line, because if it doesn't, I haven't brought one with me. It comes with some pegs and some guy lines. But alas, no ridge line. I will have to raid my spares. Give me a moment. Well, I'm afraid I didn't actually bring my spares with me. That was silly. So I'm afraid this is where today's demonstration must end. Uh, but if you know hammocks, then you know tarps. You'll have seen a tarp being put up before, right? I mean, you know what you know what tarps look like, yeah? Hey, here we go. Look, yeah, this is a tarp. Typical of DD. It has these loops all around the edges. It also has loops along the top. So you can run a ridge line over it and suspend it like that, or you can run your ridge line under it, it's entirely up to you. I believe I've posted videos on how I like to rig up my hammock ridge lines before, but if not, there's loads of good ones on YouTube anyways. Needless to say, this is incredibly good quality. It's really, really lightweight, like everything is, and it packs up tiny. I don't know how they've managed to do it, it's some sort of magic. Um, but the quality is great, uh, and I'm pretty chuffed with it. I'm looking forward to doing a few overnighters in it uh, with the underclub. They also sent me the new underclub they've got. Um, so I want to see how that pans out and see how comfortable this whole setup is. So in summary, what we have is three very light parcels that come in a nice handy action pack if you want them all together. You can of course buy them individually. and. This is me having rushed them back into their packs and not as neat as you can get them and they're still really small. By comparison, let me just show you against my humongous extra large uh, snakeskin with the travel hammock in it. Sorry, the jungle hammock in it. This, this skin has got the jungle hammock in plus the tarp plus my sleeping bags plus an under quilt which is just an old sleeping bag in my case. But you can see how much bigger we're looking at here. So this ultra light thing really is ultra ultra light. Well I believe they call it super light so let's say let this this super light thing really is ultra light. However you want it. It's good. I like it. This is just a first unboxing so I haven't done an overnight yet and I'm looking forward to being able to go trekking with that. Obviously this, I had this kit set up for motorcycle slash car camping so it doesn't really matter about weight and whatnot but if I want to go 
hiking and walking and whatnot. I don't really want to be lugging all that stuff around in this big bread bag. So I'll just be lugging these three little ditties around in this bag here. And that's even got my sleeping bag and an undercoat attached. That's pretty nifty. It is pretty good. So I'm looking forward to making another video and doing another test on this.